Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shagun Baji. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Today, we're looking at moving from glory to glory. Hallelujah. God sent me to tell you to move on from glory to glory. You know, God's destiny for you is to move on from glory to glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18, it says, But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass or mirror the glory of God, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. That's the emphasis, from glory to glory. That means from one level of glory to a higher level of glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. That means the transformer is the Holy Ghost. And now we are transformed into the image of Jesus, the anointed one, from glory to glory. That means every day can get better. Amen. You can increase and be transformed from glory to glory by the day. And that's what the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. It says, For the path of the just is as a shining light. It shines more and more. He's speaking of the glory on our path. It shines more and more even unto the perfect day. The perfect day is the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Hallelujah. And that's the will of God for you. God wants you to go from glory to glory. Now, how does it happen? It's in that scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of God. Now, if you're in Christ, you have an open face. That means an unveiled face. For those who are not in Christ, who are under the law, who have not been saved by the grace of God, they are still veiled. That means they cannot see the glory of God because the law has blindfolded them. The flesh has blindfolded them. But the man in Christ has open face. Open face here simply means unveiled face to behold the glory of God. That means you can actually see the glory of God. Now, who is the glory of God? Jesus is the brightness of that glory. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 tells us, he says he is the brightness of of the glory of God. That means he is the outshining of the glory of God and the express image of God's person. So that means when we look in the mirror of God's word, the glass there speaks of the mirror of the word of God. And when you look in that mirror, you see the glory of God. You see the outshining of that glory and that's Jesus, the anointed one. And then as you see him, you are transformed into him. As much as you can see, that's what you're going to be transformed into. That means you'll be transformed to the measure of the clarity of your vision of the glory of God, the outshining of that glory, which is Jesus, the anointed one. Praise God. So as you see who you are in the word, amen, the spirit of God transforms you and brings you into the measure of glory or being or expression of Jesus to the degree that you can see and that's why we are transformed from glory to glory from glory to glory until we see him in his fullness until we get to that measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ we are being transformed daily and this is the life God has called us to live praise God it's a life of daily transformation daily growth daily increase daily outshining and then we keep shining and shining and being transformed from glory to glory until we get to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. This is what it means to go from glory to glory. And it is additive. It is cumulative. All right. That means it is a thing that comes and sums up into the fullness of God. So that's why it's important to be consistent in your walk with God. A step at a time light upon light glory upon glory and then we we'll get there praise God I believe you've been blessed today until I come your way again tomorrow keep living and basking in the sphere of grace I love you and God bless you